And 61% uh, of you pick E, which I like. Why did you pick E? Somebody want to tell me why you picked E? So many of you picked it. I got to think you had good, some of you had really good reasons. What's the direction of the net force for E? Yeah. So it's uh, rotating in the circle. So we know that the acceleration vector goes towards the center of the circle. So you need a force diagram with a uh, net force like towards the center of the circle, which in this case is to the left. And then um, it's not moving in a vertical direction. So the gravitational force is completely canceled out. So you need a uh, a force that has um, a vertical component that's the equal and opposite of the gravity. Any questions about that? I don't think I could have done a better job. Um, it's, it's moving in a horizontal circle. It's not accelerating up, it's not accelerating down. The motion in the, in the vertical direction is not changing. So this component, the vertical component of that force had better cancel the downward vertical component due to the Earth so that it isn't end up uh, changing its velocity up or down. Just goes around in a circle. And the net force, another thing to say is the net force should point to the left. If you add these two vectors together, you get a net force to the left. You can draw these vectors in all sorts of ways. This is the best way to draw it. This is the only one with the net force pointing to the left. Not up, not down, not right, but toward the center of the circle that it travels in. Tons of you got this one, so any other questions on that one? Or any questions? All right, last question. Imagine you have a big 18-wheeler truck and a small convertible car. You're helping a team of, medical, of middle school students design a situation where the car exerts a larger force on the truck than the truck exerts on the car. They have uh, two suggestions. One, make sure the small car is moving very fast as it crashes into the truck. If the car goes fast enough, its force will be bigger. Two. Have the small car push the truck forward. As long as the small car is winning, then its force will be bigger. How do you advise the students? Method one will work, method two, either method. Neither method will work, but some other method might, if you can think of one. Or neither of these methods will work because no method can work. What do you think? <laughs> 